Good morning. This is Representative Chapel Livia coming to you from the Capitol. This is an idea that we came up with through my staff and myself of making uh, Aurora feel more part of Springfield. So every day I'm down here, we're going to be doing a video chat on either bills that I pass for that day or what's going on in a given day. And I always welcome you, always welcome you to call my office at 630-264-6855 or 217-558-1002 and come visit and let me know so you can spend the day with me and see what we do here in the Capitol. Today what's going on is we're actually going through last readings of bills on 3rd in the House of Representatives. Today's our deadline and if we don't get them passed out today on Friday then they, they die if you will. We have to either put an extension, they come on another bill, or we reintroduce them next year in next year's session. But we are limited about the amount of bills we uh, matriculate over to the Senate because there is a plethora of bills. I'm going to go through two bills that I'm um, pretty proud of that passed. That one is House Bill 3476. It passed the House on April the 21st and what it does, it exempts children of wounded vo veterans from paying tuition at public universities in Illinois, uh, applicable to the children of the parents who have been honorably discharged or who have received a Purple Heart decoration resulted in injury from enemy action, were awarded a campaign medal, suffered death during service, as determined by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, and designates Illinois as his or her home during service. In the United States Department of Veterans Affairs, it's determined that a person's mother or father suffers when they suffer from a disability with a rating of 80% or more that the individual is subject to full tuition exemption. If an individual's parents suffer a disability with a rating of less than 80%, the individual is exempt uh, from 20% of the tuition plus the disability rating of their parents. Um, the one reason why I think that's so important is that being a veteran myself, I was an Army officer, actually started off as an E1 when I was going through school uh, at Wabonzi and was accepted at the ROTC program at UIC and became a full commissioned Army officer. And I love my country. I think as a patriot, we must do everything we can to secure not only the nation's security on our forces going forward into the future, but making sure that we're taking care of those who bear the brunt of the war um, and have seen battle. And we should respect that with every ounce of our being as Americans. The other bill that was passed um, recently by myself is House Bill 642. It passed on the 17th of April. And what it does, and I'm very excited about this, because being a small business owner, uh, I've been unable to really communicate back into that community until this last year and a half. Um, and uh, I've been very, very focused on education, and that's very important. And being the chair of Veterans Affairs, I've been very focused on veterans. But one of the things that's near and dear to my heart is women in business and what we create once we get into business and what that shows our children and how they become business owners. So I'm really excited about this bill. It creates a Women's Business Ownership Council, which will report to the General Assembly on how the state can aid, promote, sustain women-owned businesses in Illinois. The council will be created within the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. Exactly nine members will be appointed, five by the governor, one will be appointed by the speaker, of the House of Representatives and the other by the Senate. Uh, I'm so excited about that because what I feel is that when we empower our women into business, they empower their children and we are so much better off in the world when everybody has a productive job and paying taxes. Anyway, that's a lot. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please visit me on my website. Uh, I'll put the numbers down and have a great day. And thank you. Uh, and what an honor it is that I get to represent you here in Springfield.